Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria for those of you who are new. So today me and my husband went to Home Depot. I wanted to wrap the bottom of my island, make it look farmhouse. So we went to Home Depot. This is how it looks when we were done. I wanna show you guys how to do this in case you guys are thinking of this. I had been wanting to do this for a while. And right now that we're on quarantine, this was the perfect time since me and my husband, um, while well, he was off, he just went back to work. But um, this was the type of wood that, <laughs> that we used. I ended up getting five boxes. So just in case I need a little bit extra, we didn't have to go back to the store. Um, we got this trim here and um, it was really tiny. It was about a quarter inch and my husband is just cutting it here to size. And we got some liquid nails. We're gonna be using this liquid nails with this caulking gun. And I'm showing you guys everything because for me to tell you guys exact measurements and everything, it's just easier if you guys maybe take a screenshot. So those are the nails we're going to be using. And we are now finally home and my husband's gonna start removing and demolishing things. It's not even that big, but <laughs> you guys are gonna see. Um, we're taking these little things off right here. I am going to be using them so I don't want them to be damaged though. He's just taking them off carefully. Um, there was a hole on some of these parts because they were well um, glued and nailed into the wall, but it doesn't even matter because those wood planks are gonna be covering it. So it's gonna be good and okay. But here was a funny part that I wanted to show you guys that Andrew was saying. Dad, can you break it in your house? I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna make it look nicer. It's okay right now. It's right now. Guys, they're making it look like nicer. Oh, Dad, it's going on. It's going on. It's going on. Is he breaking my house? No. No? Damn nails right there. Damn. Oh, I get it off. Stuck. That hurt my ears a little bad. Oh, I broke your fingers. Uh oh. That really broke the house. Uh oh. So right now that my husband is off, I wanted to make sure that I got him to help me do certain things that I wanted to do, like this farmhouse um, ship lap around my island. Is there anything that you guys are starting right now? Let me know in the comments below. Now we're just gonna be taking off this bottom trim here so that the whole wall is clear and we can start putting the wood everywhere. Um, but we are going to be putting a trim later on. So this is all just ready to be removed. Okay, clean up crew right there. Yeah, I cleaned up. Clean up Thank you. I have a clean up. And of course, our DIY took a little bit longer than we thought it would have because of course, the kids wanted to be here helping us and they wanted to be here to pass us things and to be picking up and cleaning up and I wanna help nail and everything. So I help, I let them sweep a little bit and then I'm like, okay, let me just sweep everything up already because we gotta keep moving on. <laughs> so here I am just sweeping everything up so that we can get it ready and move on to the next step. This is a little preview of how we're going to be wrapping up my island. Now I'm just gonna be using Mrs. Meyer's multi-surface cleaner in acorn spice and I'm just gonna be wiping everything down so that all the dust is off and the glue gets stuck good, you know, the nail glue that I showed you guys in the beginning so that everything can get stuck on there good and now my husband is just going over with this little machine to check for beams so that we can be able to nail down and this is what i was telling you guys the kids wanted to do everything that mommy and daddy were doing so of course here is andrew looking for the beams and now here is ruby she wanted to try it too so they were so happy whenever they would find those beams so now we're just trying to figure out how we're gonna put the wood. Um, I don't want it just straight. I wanted it to just be kind of mix match. We're gonna be using this machine here to cut the wood. We did take measurements. The whole island was nine feet by three feet. So um, we're just gonna be cutting the pieces and my husband was showing me how to use it. I was kind of scared because it's really loud, but I did cut about three pieces. <laughs> everything else was cut by my husband and um, I just helped him carry everything in and out of the house, but um, I got it done. There you go. Yes. 
So this is the liquid nails that I was telling you guys about and it's now on the coking gun and it's just kind of like a glue gun if you guys have ever used a glue gun um, you just put it in back of the board so he already did that to this one here he's just nailing it in and um, using the liquid nails is so much easier so you just put it on the board like this I mean on the wall and then you just hammer the edges so here he is putting that liquid nails on the back of that um, shiplap and, and now he's just gonna be able to put it on there it's so much easier and less nails to have to hammer in. If you guys have any questions on any type of measurements or anything like that, if I don't know the answer, which I'm pretty sure I don't know the answer, <laughs> I'll just ask my husband for you guys. Um, but also I wanted to let you guys know if you guys are using some type of big, powerful power tool like this, be careful. I did fast forward this for the video, so it's not such a long video, but um, I was just taking measurements on the pieces of wood that he had already cut and then he's just gonna keep cutting them so that we could take them inside and we can finish doing the rest of my island. And so right here, we're just putting up the rest of the pieces. I'm just gonna have this all as fast forward so you guys can see the process of it just moving along. And um, I'll be back in a little bit. So it's 10.50 at night and me and my husband finished all the liquid nails. We didn't get enough. We did buy four of them and we thought that we were going to have enough. But as you guys can see, that top part wasn't done. So here we are back at Home Depot and we are just buying some more liquid nails. And here we are. I'm just going to show you guys where we did leave off. We're going to be putting that trim in a little bit. And um, we're going to be taking some measurements because that full plank doesn't fit up there. So we have to make it a little bit thinner. So again, just taking the measurements so that we can be able to make that piece of 
wood a little bit thinner so that it can fit on the top part of the island and here's my husband just cutting that down the side and now that everything's cut and they're going to be fitting we're going to be putting them back up and finish off here and i will come back when we're moving on to the next step So here we are just on the left edge right now. We're, those are the pieces that we had cut earlier and we're just gonna be gluing and nailing them how I've been showing you guys. And of course, we're gonna be putting the trim to cover up those edges. And now of course, the little helper. Andrew, you're helping Andrew? How does it look, Ruby? Uh -huh. How does it look? <laughs> so my husband's all done with this one side here and now we're starting off on this side. I don't know how my husband did it. <laughs> Thanks babe for doing this iron for me because um, me just doing this little area here, these are the only nails that I actually put on here and it was so hard <laughs> for me to put those nails. I would go off to the side and the nails would, um, get bent so you i had to pull it out and then i had to do it again and it was uh it was so tired but um thanks babe for doing this island for us and um if you guys think that my husband did an amazing job in the end let him know so that he keeps doing more diys for me please people <laughs> let him know that he did a good job So now we're starting on the edge here. We did already cut and measure and everything. So um, I'm not gonna put them brown like this, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be painting them with the bare chalk paint in the color Farmhouse White. I will link it down on the bottom for you guys because the front of the can is all full of paint. We did spill it and so it did get all over the can. So um, I'm going to be doing two coats of this and the pieces of wood that he did take off the island right there on the left side are also going to be painted but i am going to give those a little scuff with um, some sandpaper so that i can be able to paint it with chalk and it doesn't come off later on so um here i am just doing the first coat and they will be ready to be put up when we're all done because chalk paint gets dry really quick So that trim is all done. I did do the two coats on that. The back pieces of wood still need a second coat, but here they are. They look so nice and white. And um, we're just gonna be putting the trim now everywhere. He did put a little bit of the um, liquid nails on there. And then we're gonna be putting those little nails on there. And now we're putting those pieces of wood, putting them back where they were. And of course, this is where the people that made the house, I guess, their markings. I'm just moving them off a little bit over to the right so that you can be able to see the wood on that edge so that it's not just the trim and that top piece. And all we're gonna be doing is screwing them in. And this is how it looks now that it's all done, guys. How do you guys think that we did? Well, my husband, I give him most of the credit. <laughs> but how do you guys think that we did? Um, this is how it looks up close and um i am so in love with my island i can't wait to show you guys how it looks from a little bit far back 
I can't wait till my whole kitchen is all farmhoused out, my whole house, but <laughs> the main important thing is the kitchen for me. So this is why we have been working on this and um, this is how my kitchen looks a little far back. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up just make sure to let us know that you guys are enjoying these types of videos and so that I know to keep making some more farmhouse DIY for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.